Okay, so infant vaccine, we're gonna do basic technique to hold the baby yourself. So if the parents don't wanna be involved in holding the baby, you're gonna, you gotta keep that muscle bent for an intramuscular. We're gonna use our, our knee. I kinda use my body to hold the baby's leg at an angle. I'm gonna take the arm over the chest and I'm gonna lay this arm and put a little bit of pressure on the baby but I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna put my thumb to measure the femur, make sure my thumb is on the femur, and I'm gonna push down so the muscle mass is gonna kind of pooch out the side, and my thumb is on the bone, because I don't wanna hit the bone. The other thing is going directly straight down at a 90 degree. You don't wanna go in sideways towards the bone. You wanna go down next to the bone. So here's the bone under my thumb, I'm gonna go straight down next to it. So I labeled one of my injections, my intramuscular injection, right IM. So that way I know I've already wrote it down on my paper so I already know. So I'm going to clean this baby. And yet yeah, we do use a one inch needle. And we just go in really quick. I go in, bam, out, that fast, and then do your safety. Put your Band-Aid on your baby. It won't stick to cotton. <laughs> okay. Sub Q, just for purposes of the where the camera is, I'm going to use the same leg, but you do need to space out injections one to two inches. Labeled left sub Q. I would give it on the left side, but since the camera's right here, I'm going to show you on the right side. So we're going to hold the baby because we need to hold her. Here's our bone. We're going to grab up that sub Q tissue after we cleaned it. 5 8 inch needle. Same way we do a sub Q. We're going to do a 45 degree angle. We're going straight into the tissue. Once we're in, we're still holding that baby. But you have to push that plunger in. So it's hard to go in, hold that syringe, push it in. It's much easier if you have another MA to help hold the baby. Sometimes the parents will hold it on their lap. And they, if they were to do that, then they would just hold the baby like this take their arms and just hold the baby like that. But generally you'll have an assistant or you'll or you'll have the parents help you. But sometimes it does happen where you have to take the baby, cross its leg hand over, grab that, and you got to be really fast. Um, generally, I would say you're allowed to give their intramusculars up until they walk. Then we would switch to the intramuscular in the deltoid. It's just going to depend on the muscle mass. You want to go in the muscle where they have the biggest amount of muscle mass. We don't usually aspirate on babies, but they're not going to have a good amount of muscle mass in the deltoid at least approximately two years, depending on how old they are or how much muscle they have. We wouldn't go the deltoid. So baby infants, vastus lateralis, also called the antero lateral thigh. So the front lateral thigh area. There's her little sticker. And they'll be crying. <laughs>